and fu. The last one is fu. Everybody say fu. fu. Now, the, the word is actually fem. Everybody say fem. fem. Now, the fem is your mouth. Fem. You can use fem. You never have to use fu. You never have to. You can say femuka or femuhu or femuhum or femuha or femuna. You can say that. However, when you, when you also can, you, since we're learning the language, you can say fu. And you, in, in reference to it, again, fuka, fuhum, in this construction, then you have to put the wow. If you've dropped the meme, then you add the wow if it's going to be in a state of rafi. Does that make sense? And so what he says in this poem, what if I bid wowin khamsatan? There are five words, and only five words. Some people may go and say something else, but there are five words. When you get to alafiyah, then you learn what some of the ikhtilaf is. These five words, there's no problem with them. There's no ikhtilaf about them. Khamsatan akhuka, abuka du malin hamuki fuka. Those five words are the words that you make roughly with wow. But then I told you that when you say Muslim, right, Muslimun, right? But when you make it plural, you say Muslimun. What about this wow? You put a wow there. I thought you said wow was rafun, and then you said that this is rafun for Muslimun, for the plural. I did. But this is it. This is the construction as even with I mean and different people, they say you could say wow and noon. But in actuality, they're being generous. They want it to make it simple. I want to break it down to the very last compound. The wow here is to pluralize. The wow is fa'il. Is the actor here. Wow represents plurality. And the noon, it represents the rafi case. Does that make sense? So we know every word, letter is here for a reason. Does that make sense, everybody? And I'm dump, jumping ahead because I didn't do alif. The alif is real simple. It's called aliful if name. The name says it all. What is it called? The alif that means to. That's what it means. Alif that points to, to. Whenever you see this alif in this construction, what do we say? Tibet. What's the next word? Yada. Yada. It means the two hands. Okay? It's actually Yadani. But because it's a prepositional clause, a prepositional clause, meaning the two hands of somebody, it's the noon is dropped and you say Yada who? Abi. Lahab. So it's the two hands of Abi Lahab. That's what that is right there. So this is what we have to start to understand. So whenever you have that alif right there, that alif represents ifnan. That alif represents what? Ifnan. And actually you can say the alif and noon represents the rough e case, the rough e case of ifnan. Because when the noon is gone, it's no longer in the rough e. It's no longer in the rafi now. There's something happening. Okay? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.